رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى Does traveling include family vacations, work trips, etc.? Some people think that the traveling that is permissible for us to break our fast through is when it's for business. But if it's for ledger, for a vacation, for tourism, then it's not halal. No. Any travel that you offer, as long as it is halal travel, then it's permissible. What do you mean by halal travel? Well, sometimes we travel to sin. People travel to other cities to commit sin, to fornicate, to consume intoxicants, to have the intention not to fast. Ah, okay, now I understand. So someone who's in his home country, fasting, and he's fed up. So said, come on, I've been fasting for two weeks. It's too much for me. I'm going to travel to XYZ city so that I can spend the rest of the month not fasting. Uh, if this is your intention, this is haram and you're sinful. And be careful because you may fall in one of the biggest sins possible which require the biggest expiation possible. What do you mean? Someone who's fasting looks at his spouse and desires his wife, but it's daytime in Ramadan and he knows that he cannot have any intimacy. So he books a plane, travels to another city and considers himself to be not fasting because he's a traveler and he has intimacy with, with his wife. What's the ruling? He has to fast two consecutive months. <gasps> Why? Because he had intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan. But he was traveling. Nope. He traveled to have intercourse. And this is why he's doing a trick upon Allah. As if he's tricking Allah Azza wa Jal. If he had a legitimate business deal. He has to travel. And he does travel. He takes his wife with him. Both of them have the permission not to fast. Now they can do whatever hanky-panky they want. No problem. Because the origin of their travel is legit. But to reverse it, and in order to have intimacy, he travels and breaks his fast, this is a trick. And he has to pay for that.